Hey everyone, Hans here, hope all are doing well. I'm uh, enjoying the raven chorus up in the trees today. <laughs> Maybe you can hear them too. Anyways, um, it's gonna be a short one, really. And it comes down to, in the last two years, I've seen a lot of people who have lost friends, they say. Disagreements about which political figure to follow, disagreements about, you know, do you fall in line? With, uh, with the hand washing and the uh, or the oiling of your hands and uh, the, the all of the stuff you have to inject yourself with or have yourself injected with and the cloth that you have to wear on your face to keep the bacteria close to your mouth because that apparently is healthy for you all of that stuff um, so yeah, most people who disagreed with all of this have, are now saying that they lost a lot of friends. I don't think so. They made room for better people in your life. There has been a huge display in the last two years, if nothing else, of people showing what they value. And the two main ones is independence or dependence. I think you can filter with who belongs where. And if you have people in your life that aren't independent thinkers, who are maybe even afraid of that, autophobia, that's called, afraid of ruling their own lives, if you will, um, what good was it ever going to do to have them in your life? What, did they make a nice pie once in a while for you or something? That's a bit superficial, isn't it? That's a bit nonsensical. So, yeah. A good friend in my eyes is someone who has your back. And it really is almost as simple as that. Someone who shares the same virtues you do, that's a friend. And friends can, uh, friends can fight, and friends can disagree. They call each other out on their nonsense, but they stay around. They enter the room when times get tough. They don't leave it. Those who leave, let them go. Make room for good people. And the more people, the more friends, so to say, you lost over this, the more perhaps it's required that you look at yourself and start to realize, you know what, maybe a few mistakes were made in regards to social contacts. But that is up for you to decide, not me. Personally, I have not had any ounce of drama in that sense, because I am very picky who I let close. And we all should be. Why not? And I've said it before in other videos, I made mistakes too. I let the wrong people get close. But I learned. And once I learned, they were out of there instantly. Didn't take me a second thought. But I guess you have to have the spine to be alone a little bit. Until you find those good people. It's not always easy. But if you want to have a, a happier and more successful life it is of course largely dependent on your own actions but it certainly does help to have good people with you because they will be supports for you well and you're trying yeah, well i'm not gonna go into that too much not now is there something else to say in regards of this? If you must lament it, if you lost friends, if as you might call it, then lament it, but then let it slide off you. And again, work on yourself, try to figure out what made those people so afraid of being independent, freedom if you will. Why they're so afraid of freedom and if you value freedom and your own independence what kind of types do you need to look for 
analyze the virtues that you have maybe the flaws as well and once you've done that look for that in others and genuinely so I hope that helps for some people who might need to hear it there's, uh, there's little else for it well, and anyways, you all have a good one then, and I'm gonna go, bye bye.